Hi, my name is Isis. And hi, my name is Kiniqua, and we're a part of the Muskegon Heights community. Well, well, our community, or uh, everybody community, I feel like that the community should be more a part of the school than usual. Some communities not even concerned about their school or what they be doing to the school. So like they just send their kids to school not caring what they do or when they do. They don't care about grades. All they like, and then the people around the community need to be more a part of the schools. Like kids need to be like, parents need to be more involved. Kids need to be more involved. Like the whole community like, the, like they, Um, I just feel in this day and age, it is harder for teenagers to um, have motivation because not everyone, like Isis said, is involved with the community and it's just not helping us finish school, go to school, or either be in extracurricular activities. And that's something that we need. Like, I feel like hobbies and traits are something that we should have because if you're not open-minded to other things, then you'll never get to experience anything. So I feel like the community also, like Isis said, should be more involved to help us be motivated, to help us to just be there, basically. Thank you, Kaniko. I wanna see everything fixed. I'm talking about, like, cause our community, like the way that we're set up, like, it's like more like they don't care for us as well as they care for the other communities around Muskegon Heights. So therefore I want to like, like, I want like everybody to get involved with it. It's like, like you got more people out here killing than loving people. You got more friends, like, like you got more pregnancy rates. I don't want to see that as our community. I want our kin community like have fun do like normal stuff as a community to be more together as in not like the killing and all that stuff. If we can see more of that, I guarantee you Muskegon Heights will change around. Um, about um, us coming together, we understand that not everyone is going to be in tune with it. We understand that, hey, some things happen, you know, we can't control that. But we just want everyone to come together to appreciate everyone's flaws. We know you're not going to just be perfect. We know that you have stuff to do. We know this, we know that. But also the roads, like the roads. I know y'all be seeing the roads. Like there are so many potholes. You will fly out of your windshield if you don't have a seatbelt on because of the potholes. I see everywhere else, I see it's smooth. They've done the construction, they've waited weeks, months. But then when you get to a certain point and you enter the heights, there's no construction, there's no, we're planning to do construction. Construction is none of that, like you don't see that. them to put in like more work towards it like I know you see how your town's looking like all the street clog all the sewer drains like I know y'all see that and as a community we should pitch in and help I'm not saying that you have to donate I'm just saying like you no know, volunteer and do something like you you constantly making posts about it but you're not fit putting in you want other people to do it but you're the one main person that's complaining about it and like I want the the, the government, the community, I want y'all to all like pitch in and do something because I see that y'all not doing nothing. It's not even a matter of fact that they're not doing anything. It's just one person cannot do everything. Everyone has to be in tune with it. Everyone has to pitch in. And we know it's not a lot of people. We know it's a lot of poverty out here. You know, we're not just saying make big donations to where you can't pay your rent. We're just saying like, and it needs to be brought to other attention. Like, 
like she said, post. I don't see somebody make a post like, oh my God, those potholes on Fifth and Rotterdam. But what about them though? Like, is are you gonna bring it to an attention or are you just gonna laugh at it? Like, cause that's basically what y'all making a post for. Y'all not trying to have it brung to anyone's attention, which it needs to be. Because I mean, we like any other town, yeah, we have this, we have that, but also we deserve to have as much stuff as anyone else has. Oh, um, it makes me feel good because I like that everyone's trying to put their ideas together. And if no one's talking, we'll never get it fixed. Because some people, I get you a little shy, you might not want to say that in front of a couple people. But even if you just tell someone that you trust and they could vouch for you or they could be your advocate, that could even be great. Like, we've came to every board meeting that they've had and we've watched the people listen to what we have to say some of them write some down some might even just look at us but at the same time whether or not they are listening we are still saying what we have to say we are still saying that we want change we want our school to be better we want our community to be better so whether or not someone's listening you still have to talk you still have to try to make someone understand or make someone listen so I really don't have to touch base on this because like what she just said, I feel like that even though that some people don't like speaking out, for me, I love speaking out. If I have something to say, I will say it. So if people are afraid to speak out towards the school, the community, but if we have more people speaking out, I guarantee you the people will listen to us. So as you like, like she said, are you scared to talk to people? Are you scared to speak out? Because like, if we speak out more, people will listen more and we will get their attention. I want y'all to get to know us first before you judge us. Cause at the end of the day, we do got some nice people in the town. It's not like gun violence, rape, or none of that like there's some there's some people that do that there's majority of the people that don't do that our whole community is not based off uh crime rape drugs and none of that because at the end of the day there's other people they got their opinions on our town but if you get to know us as much as our community know us we we are nice people um one thing i want to say is also what i used to say do not judge a book by its cover because it's a lot of it's a lot of things, it's a lot of talent here that just haven't been discovered yet. Like we trying out here, like, and no one understands that either they don't think you try hard enough or you doing too much. Like you can't be either or. There's no in between. Or you know what I mean. But um, it's just it's a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand about Muskegon or Muskegon Heights because it's very small. Um, and not everyone is the same here, you know, no one is the same. I mean, it'd be a couple followers, but no one is the same. Everyone is their own person. And just because one person did something does not mean you get to either disown, talk down on, the news. or just say it's not either a safe environment because of one person or a couple people or even some of the people, you know, like, I just don't think it should be based off of that coming from a ski and high student. Like, I just see like the people that don't stay close to or stay across the world just be like, y'all watch the news, y'all hear the news, and y'all believe everything what the news based off of, but y'all don't know what's going on for real. There's always lies behind cameras. That's all I gotta say. And I feel like that's what people here do to other places too, because one person does something, the whole community is bad, the whole culture is bad, the whole race is bad. You know, I feel like everyone does that. Everyone has a problem when they be like, oh, this person does this, so maybe every one of them is like that. But we have to stop there. You have to stop judging before you actually get to know a person. Amen. So y'all, I hope y'all had a good time talking to me, Isis, and Kaniqua. Y'all can follow us on our social media. We'll put 
the link in the description down below and have a great time <laughs>